Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Valheim. I'm the Radio Man 03, and it's awesome to have you along. Today is the day we take on Yaglith after we do a, a couple more things, just a couple more things to make sure we're prepared for it. Uh, Terry, welcome back. Gold Dragon, hello, good afternoon. Hope you had a good weekend, Gold Dragon. Uh, so we've got a rest buff on. First thing I want to show you is I did some grind work over the weekend on Sunday. I spent quite a few hours in here. And we, uh, we got some resources put back into our coffers down here in the old forge area, which we'll be working on uh, later on down the road to improve. I went out and got us uh, four stacks of iron from the swamps. I picked up almost two stacks of copper on my way back from the swamps with the iron. I stopped off at a copper node that was along the shoreline and grabbed that up. And I also grabbed the black metal that's been sitting around at the two areas that we've been working on the planes. There was the, the planes base area and then there was the tar area that we were working on the planes. So I brought all that back here as well. So that is a good thing. I also got the sausages back up and running because we did spend some time uh, in a, uh, what do you call those? Um, the crypts. I spent some time in the crypts found one crypt that had two, uh, one of those, those little gut piles that got the bugs buzzing around them, and I just let those guys respawn droggers over and over and over again, and I, you know, took advantage of that and filled up our, kind of filled up a little bit, a couple stacks worth of, um, uh, what am I looking at, uh, the, the sausages, the uh, entrails, we got a bunch of entrails put together. Anything else? Oh, yes. Boom, look at all the tar we have right now. That's the tar I have over here, and then I've got a bunch of tar up here as well. So, where we're going to fight Yoglith, there were two more tar pits located nearby there. Let's go take... Oh, let me... Hold on. Let me get away from this real quick. Let's go back to the map. We found the other Yoglith arena last episode. Uh, over here is where we're at. Uh, I don't think I actually moved that portal to where it needs to be. I need to move this portal marker. Uh, I think, uh, Terry, you were the one that pointed it out in the, in the YouTube comments that I don't have that in the right spot. Anyways, Yoglith, where it is, there are there were two more tar pits nearby where he is. I'm going to go out there right now. That's what we're going to do to see if we can figure out if indeed the tar pits are not spawning those tar creatures. I don't want them in the mix with us today. I also went out and got rid of the... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? There was a village, a small village. I got rid of the small village too. Now it was mentioned in the videos, or last week during the stream, that the tar creatures don't spawn if the bones have been removed around the tar pits. And, oh jeez! Uh, um, that's not the case. Uh, I, bet I left one tar pit with no workbenches and another one I put workbenches around it and we didn't have any tar, any tar creatures spawning. No tar, no tar creatures are spawning. As long as I have the workbenches around the tar pits, they do not spawn. I left this one with bones and did not put workbenches down and the... Uh, oh, I just know what... Sorry. Let me back up. I'm going too fast here. I got rid of all the bones around this tar pit left came back and there were tar creatures spawning here again since i've got the workbenches splashed around here i've not had any tar creatures respawning in here up here was where the small village was there was like maybe 10 guys in it i killed them all off really fast destroyed all of their structures and put workbenches down and i don't have any fuelings spawning over here that's a good thing oh hold on real quick I'm out of feathers. Just about out of feathers. I also went around the Yoglith Arena and kind of worked the ground out a little bit too, so things aren't going to be in my way, except for right here. I'm going to get this out of here right now. There we go. Get these bushes out of here. So I went around here and I got rid of all this kind of stuff, mostly. What we do still have spawning around the Yoglith Arena are the locks. There's a couple of locks that like to spawn in right over here by this rock. So it looks to me like I killed them off last time I was here and they have not come back. So you can see that tar pit had nothing over there by it. And I believe our other tar pit was over here somewhere. I, wanna, I just want to check these to make sure they are still not spawning any creatures. So we're not going to have any interruptions while we're fighting Yoglith. All our food's ready to go and everything's... 
Did you see me? You did see me. There we go. Let's get rid of these guys real quick. That's going to be important to do, too, before we get involved in this Yaglith fight. We've got to make sure we got all these bugs dead. Like that one way over there. Okay, so where was that other tar pit? It was just right over here. It was real close to where we were. I don't see any tar creatures, so I think we're good there. The other thing I found here was that on this side of the Yaglith arena, there are tar pits. I'm going to check these two to make sure they are not spawning anything either. We have a tar pit over here that I cleared out, and there is nothing spawning over here. This is good to see. Uh, there's the two locks. I'm not too concerned about those guys right there. Although, here they come. They are on me already. I'm just going to run away as fast as I can so they don't bother us. I can eat. Okay, so we might have to kill those two off. There was also a tar pit right over here. Somebody had mentioned why not tame those those locks and use these locks to our advantage and have them help with the fight against uh, Yagleth. That is certainly an option. There's a couple of them over here too, so we may have to deal with these locks and get them out of here. The thing is, is if I kill them, they seem to spawn back like right away before I come back in here. So it, it doesn't seem to help too much. Uh, let's go three and four. Got Deskitos down there, but they're really not an issue. And then here's where the other tar pit was. So again, as long as I've got workbenches scattered around here, the, uh, the tar creatures don't seem to spawn at all. It, does, it definitely stops the spawning of them. Once we're done with Yaglith, the two times we have to fight him, one, uh, one head for, of course, the trophy, the shrine, and the other one for us at base, uh, we really don't have to come back here for him at all anymore. And then there are the occasional locks in here. Are they going to be a problem for me right there? It's a pretty good possibility. I'm thinking I'm probably going to kill these two off and kill the other two off. Then we'll do the fight. So let's go back to base. I wanted to come in and make sure that there were no... Oh, man. He's going to fly away before the Sarah gets there. He's definitely going to fly away now. There we go. I would like to get rid of those locks before we do the fight. If I come in here with the stuff I need, I think we can get that done fast enough to where we won't lose too much of our comfort buff and we'll be able to just fight Yaglith. We're out of feathers and I'm just trying to kind of restock us up a little bit. Once we get the chickens going, that'll be great. Once we kill Yaglith, we should be able to get chickens. I figured I'd raise the chickens with the pigs at the moment. Uh, okay, so good news. It looks like these are still shut down. They're quiet. There's nothing going on here. It's just the uh, occasional deskito and a few locks that are still over here. So, okay, perfect. The power I want to use in this fight is Ekthyr, so we have plenty of stamina. You know what's interesting is... If you've got Frostner and you go back to the swamp, everything dies quickly. Oh, and by the way, I killed multiple abominations in the swamp. Really fast, really easy. Five hits with the uh, black metal axe. This axe right here in my hand. Right here. This guy right here. Sweet. It kills him about five hits. You just get up underneath him, uh, have your shield out, block his attack, and then just chop, chop, chop. A few chops, he hits you again. Boom. A couple more chops and he's dead. So you can see they've added the queen. The queen is now on here, but we need to get Yagleth for right there. Boom. And we want Ekthyr so we can have plenty of stamina. Yeehaw! Oh yeah. Okay, here we go. Ooh, lag. Here we go. I should be able to eat all three of my new foods. We're going to put these totems in. Eat our foods. And then we'll summon him.
I've got my food, I've got my power. I've got all my weapons ready to go. Let's, let's take a look up this area here for the any fuelings that are laying around. There's some locks way back there, but I'm not too worried about those guys. That tar pit looks like it is clear. Let's see the tar pit. There it is. Let's check up on this rock, make sure there's no fuelings around. I don't see anything. There's also a stone hedge right down there too. We got the two locks back here again. Oh, I heard that. There he is right there. Okay, he's dead. Let the sun come up a little bit so we can see. If I kill these guys really quick, Then I don't have to think about him at all. Don't go away. Stamina is shot. I don't want to eat my food just yet. I don't want to waste it on this. <sighs> Let's just take a stamina potion. So we can get rid of this guy. Let's pick up our loot. Okay. All right, you guys ready? Well, I'm not. Food, food, and food. Let's let that build up. Come on. What's going on here? Come on, food. Let's go. Uh, health potion, huh? Well, uh, I'm gonna hold off. Let's let's just let this build up. Hopefully, we can beat him in under five minutes. I'm hoping. Meantime, I'm looking. Okay, there's a death skeeter right over there. Got him. Okay, it's almost there. Frost arrows is what we're gonna try. Okay, he's almost there, and 
We're gonna go with number two and four. Here we go. Those do no damage at all to him. At all. Put my stamina potions back up here. Whoopsie! Whoops. Can't hit him. No stamina. What do the arrows do? Very little damage. Ah, oh, that one hit me. Looking for my stamina and my health, they're both going down. My health potion, I should be able to take another health potion here in just a second. Tank it. Whoo, whoo, health is low, 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 low. That was close. We got him about a third of the way down so far. My fire resist is on right now. I got seven minutes left on it. Might as well keep the damage going. Okay, that's doing 45 damage. Let's see what the needles do. That's 18. Frost is better. Ooh, ouch. Frost does a much better job on him. Okay, we're going to go in and do a little damage this way. Quasi.
Big Thai is just about shot. He's half dead. Where'd he go? Gave him a couple of big uppercuts with the uh, Frostner. What the heck? You got me on fire with that? He's moving faster than I thought he did. Oh, that was a good round of hits right there. He's caused me some damage though. Hell. Ah. Almost got him. Buzzy. He is so cool. Oh, ouch. I'm going to go over here a little bit of distance between me and him real quick. My health and my stamina to go up a little bit. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, no, 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 no. 48 health. Ooh, that was close, that was close. Whew. Oh, oh, don't see me, Yoglith, don't see me. We need that health to go up. I'm going to get the heck out of here. Put some distance between me and him. Health, 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 health. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. Alright, let's go finish him off. Gotcha. Yee-hoo! Oh. oh, sweet baby Jesus. Give me that. Give me those. New build pieces. I didn't even see what it said. He's dead. We killed him. We won. Oh, okay. You guys keep saying fire resist. The fire resist is right here. You can see I've still got almost a minute left up there. Kra, well met, Wanderer. I am Munin, brother to Hugin. I bring a greetings from the Allfather. His eye sees through mine. I carry his words beneath my tongue. Keep his ways and I will come to you again. 
See you later, Munin. Munin. There we go. We did it. Yoglith is dead. We just need to gather up the necessary uh, totems to take him on again. I want to grab up the stone as much as I can carry anyways. Take it back with me. 352 stone. Let's see if we got any more stone over here to grab up. Hee-hoo! That was not so bad. Uh, we came close to dying once. Dropping down to 40. Fortunately, the uh, health potion was there. I believe now a longer, a lingering health potion is now available to us, which is great. Now, we should be able to go get eggs from Hoogan. Buy a couple of chicken eggs. Get our wisp for the mislins. There's all kinds of new things that we have to do. Yeah, we need to put this head over on the shrine. And yeah, we got all this nice stone, too. That's beautiful. I love to get the stone. There we go. Oh. Terrifying. My hands are shaking. They're sweaty. Oh, these games, man. I love them. They just get me going. They just really get me going. Okay. Let's uh, head back to the portal. Let's go drop off uh, this head at the shrine. Pick up that needle along the way. Okay, all that uh, clearing of the area was probably a smart thing to do. It left us with nothing but to deal with him. We didn't even have any fueling show up during that fight, which was good. The Fenris armor makes it a lot easier. Really, does it not protect you, though, from the damage of his... I know it's got the fire protection to it. Maybe we'll try the Fenris armor later. I just don't have Fenris armor that's fully... Remember, it's not fully upgraded, my Fenris armor. It's only level 1, so it would not have done better in this case. We have to go back. We stopped looking for um, frost caves because we didn't want to open any, any more of the map. We were waiting for the update. Torn Spirit. Did I pick up all the Torn Spirits that were available there? I hope so. What do we need here? Um, miscellaneous. What do we get? I don't see anything new in Miscellaneous. Crafting. This thing right here. The Wisp Fountain. We need a Stone Cutter Bench, huh? Okay, well, we've got a Stone Cutter Bench. Uh, let's get the rock put away. Gosh, look at this. I'm out of room. I've got almost stone in here. This is good because we're going to expand our island a little bit over here, so we're going to need this. I'm going to throw the stone in here for now. Whew, man, my heart is racing. Racing. Love it. Mosquito trophy. Uh, I never did use the puke berry. Needles. Drop some wood in there. Uh, we didn't need... Uh, unfortunately, the, the ooze bombs did not work. But I understand ooze bombs are pretty good in the mislins against the creatures there. They don't like them. Causes quite a bit of damage. So we'll keep these ooze bombs nice and handy over here for us. I'm going to drop those guys in there. And we've got some meat. And we've got his head. Uh, let's take a sleep. Ronan, well-deserved sleep. Slumber, my friend. Slumber. Cannibal, hello. Yeah, it's key to the Bislins. Mm-hmm. And then we'll see the merchant. Yeah. We'll see the merchant. We're going to go to the merchant and get some eggs. Uh, so we got to get this back to the shrine. And let, let me swap out my food, too, so we're not eating the good stuff. throw that into here. Oh man, look at that. We got some good food. Oh, by the way, guys, you notice I hung up some fish. The tuna's talking to us. Don't worry, be happy. I got the tuna hanging there. I put a pike over here. And I put the, uh, what is this guy called? The troll fish over here on an item stand inside the kitchen area. I thought they looked pretty good. They really add to it. I don't even know if you guys noticed it, but there they are. We got some beautiful trophies hanging in here now. 
I love it. Love it to death. It's just awesome. Okay, let's put that in there. Uh, we're going to put you in there, and we're going to put the bread in there. We only ate one of each of those. We're going to go back to this stuff. The simple stuff. Oh, deep breath. There's a fish sticking out of the water over there. There's a fish. Okay. It's like, what is going on at the water over there? Uh, I also took out the wood poles that were along here. We're going to do stone along this wall and bring this the wall up to about this level right here uh, to kind of hide up the flowers and stuff that are up here. Or the un, you know, the un kind of finished land there. I should swap out that portal to the Yoglith portal. Make that a Yoglith portal over there. I went back over to the other Yoglith arena that we have available to us. Um, look at the map here real quick. This one over by in the tar area where we were picking up all of our tar at the beginning. I went over this one and tried to work the ground up a little bit more because I think and maybe this one would just be easier to deal with. But it's just it's it's just not easier to deal with. It's better off with uh, what I did. Uh, shrine, merchant, shrine. I worked the land for a little while around that other Yoglith arena and it just didn't quite come together as I wanted it to. So I decided to go back and just deal with those tar pits and get rid of it that way. All right, Yoglith. Resist fire, resist frost, and resist lightning. That's a good one to have, huh? Especially when you're going after the frost caves and stuff. I mean, those guys, the, the Fenris blow fire at you. It's cold up there. And I don't know that there's any lightning, but the Mistlands, we experienced some lightning in there, didn't we? So that's the power you probably want to have when you go into the Mistlands. Our Ekthire power is, oh, it's two minutes and 35 seconds before it's actually available to us again. Well, we didn't quite tank Yaglith as fast as I thought I was going to, but it was pretty quick. Not too bad. I like the fact that once you get away from him and you're out of his sight, he just stops all attacks. Gives you a chance to kind of think about what you're doing. I need those moments in my life. I don't think the Queen is going to be quite as um, generous with that. Alright, let's go back. I should have grabbed all the gold I had and anything else so that we could have just gone and bought the eggs from the merchant. But we'll go back home and go get some money. Some money. Oh man, I beat Yoglith. I'm so excited. Uh, did I put these things over here? I did. I bet we could get this going over here. What did I need for that? Ten stone, huh? Let's get that set up in here. And we'll get that started. I believe it has to charge for a bit, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go get 10 stone. Maybe I should put that down here. Well, I don't have the bench down here. We'll put it up here for now. Uh, ooh, can I tear it down after I put it up and get my stuff back? Of course I can. This is Valheim. They don't punish you for putting your things down. That's what I love about this game. They don't punish you. Ooh, that's interesting looking. Oh my, that's quite the thing. I'm going to go ahead and set this up downstairs, though. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, crafting. Let's go ahead. And, yeah, let's go ahead and put this down in the uh, the warehouse, the workshop here. Here in the corner, maybe? Oh, not, not enough room. Oh, it needs to, I bet it needs to be outside. I bet it needs to be outside. 
in order to work. I bet that's the case. The wisps have to come at night. Okay, so I bet it needs to be outside. Okay, let's do this right out here then. On the, along the pathway? For now? Hey, Hugin. A strange edifice indeed. I wonder what it will attract. Let us just perch here for a while and see what happens. Warrior, I'm bored. Besides, it is not my job to babysit the likes of you long into the night. Just be vigilant and I'm sure you will be rewarded. Okay. Thanks, Hugin. See ya. I believe, yeah, this has to be at nighttime, huh? Let's get our money. Nighttime, I believe, is when uh, that will start doing something for us. Let's get our moolah, our dineros. Two hundred ninety-seven. Sell that off. We'll take all of that. Do I have any more money down here? Because, from what I understand, these eggs are expensive. We get more stuff to sell there. Oh, I've got no fire down here for Rascal. I'm going to take all of it with me. We're empty there, empty there. That's empty. Okay, do I have any wood on me? I don't. Okay. And you, nothing there for else for sale. Well, I've used up almost all of my gold. I think it's like 1,000 something to get an egg. So we're going to have to sell some stuff. I've got a bunch of other um, stuff to sell up here. This resin. Okay, and I can drop these little balls off inside here, I think. Is there room in here for something? We'll take those out. Oop, we can't do that. Um, what if I do this? Can I do that? There we go. We'll put those in there, and I'll throw this linen into here. I can't throw it in there. Oh my gosh, we are just so out of room. I got the iron. For one thing, I think I'm going to go ahead and get these chests swapped out for iron chests, because now we've got a whole new, whole new ball of wax coming into us here, in terms of stuff that we're going to need to um, start harvesting and storing up. Uh, let's grab a little bit more of this. There we go. It's morning still. Let's go out and see who again. We'll see if we can get those eggs. Oh, Helder. Hello. I need to get my tools back, too. Hello, Helder. <laughs> There's the egg. 1,500. Inventory full. All you need to sell. Look at that. <laughs> Two eggs is all I need, right? 711 gold is all I have left. Thanks, Halder. Halder's pet. Chickens! <laughs> yes, I was rich, is right. Looks like I'm gonna have to go kick in some troll doors, huh? This is a great idea to put this portal room out here. I like I like coming out here to use the portal room. It's fun. Okay, so we've got a little bit of gold left over, but not a whole lot to write home about. Our treasure room is no longer full of treasure. It is just full of, uh, well, stuff, including this amazing, amazing Wraith Trophy. 
Killed a few wraiths over the weekend too. I stayed out in the swamp at night and uh, killed a few more of those, but I never did get uh, another trophy off of them. Okay, so the eggs have to be placed next to a campfire or a fire in order to hatch. Uh, let's grab some stone and some wood. We're gonna set a little something up down here in the pig pen uh, so the chickens can hatch in there. I'm pretty sure the pigs and the chickens will be fine in the same pen. For the time being, uh, let's see, and then I need a little bit of wood, a little bit of wood. Let's grab some wood there too. Alright, let's go out to the pigs. We'll wait for night to fall so we can see what this is going to do. What was this thing called again? The Wisp Fountain. The Wisps demand darkness. Well, they're not going to get it here at the moment. Uh, we also need our butcher knife. So we can get rid of some of these hogs. Uh, I shouldn't have jumped in there. I should jump over here. Let's get our knife and we'll slaughter these guys down until there's just a couple of pigs left in there. I'm going to push them off into a corner so they're not um, in the way. Oh, something else I want to do, guys, real quick, too. Uh, let's go ahead and drop you off in there. Put you there. Wow, we went through some potions, didn't we? We went through 8 out of 10 we had in our pocket. I didn't think we used that many health potions when we were fighting him. I want my tools back before I forget to do that. There we go. Get back to the pig pen. That's going to move. That's not going to stay there. Maybe what we do is we create, in our tower there, we create a hole in the roof so that uh, the um, light comes in. Okay, and then what I want to do over here is I want to kind of contain these guys over here. Perfect. Thank you. That's exactly what I wanted you guys to do. Miscellaneous. I'm going to put a campfire kind of right over here. And I'm going to fence that off too. I don't know if the chickens will step in fire, but I don't want them to. And I think if I stand here... And throw... I gotta do one at a time. Too cold. Really? <coughs> Excuse me. That's interesting that it says it's too cold. What if I do it right here? Right next to the fire? Warm. Okay, that egg is warm now. Now, can I squeeze a fence in here and keep them from possibly getting... Warm, it says. Okay, that says warm. I'm going to try to put this a lot closer to this fire this time around. If I hold down the shift key, I think I could do that. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, let's do that right there. Save. Hold on. Okay, and then maybe I can... Jeez. Okay, that was way too far away. I'm trying to get him to walk straight in here. There we go. Why is that too cold? That is silly. Wow, 
Wow, they gotta be like right on top of that fire, don't they? I can't have them right on top of that fire. It's just not gonna help. It's they're, they're gonna die. For Pete's sake, man. Bet that's warm now. It's warm all right. Maybe if I stand back here and throw it, I could throw it right up against that fence. Or right on top of the dang fire. Eggs need shelter like a workbench, huh? All right, then let's do... Still warm. Hopefully, it doesn't spawn and suffocate in the wall over there. Oh, for God's sakes, man. This is stupid. Come on. warm. There we go. Am I good now? Let's put another piece of roofing over the top of that. That makes me a little nervous that it's in the wall a bit, but I'm, I'm hoping it'll pop out here. We'll see what happens here. And this one says warm now too. Warm. Okay, good deal. Let's go check on our wisp. Anything happening here? I heard they had to be close to a fire for incubation, the heat. Chicken coop? Okay. Maybe I'll pick those eggs up. We'll try again. We'll build them a little tiny chicken coop off the side of that building there. I didn't want to miss this. From what I understand, if I pick those eggs up, the 30-minute timer starts all over again. So, you know, what are you going to do? So I could have hatched them in the in the bedroom, huh? I'm gonna let it stay dark so we can see the uh, the wisp action here. Chickens also need seeds. Yeah, I've got seeds. I've got some uh, turnip seeds. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Now, from what I understand, I just have to go up to E and grab it. But that is really cool. Check that out. As soon as night fell, it showed up. The wisps are coming. That is so cool. Look at that animation. Isn't that great?
We also eat dandelions. I've got some dandelions too. Keeps whispering gibberish. Only two, huh? What are the crafting stations opened up for us here? There's another wisp. I see it now. Blast furnace. Hmm. I don't see any other crafting stations other than this wisp thing. Come here, you. Well, oh, you're fast. <laughs> Give it to me. Little punk. Maybe I can't grab more than two? It says 50 in my inventory, so I'm guessing I'm just missing it. Oh. Huh. Oh, I probably had the hammer out. Never mind. So you get a couple, and then it takes a little while before they start showing up again. Let's go to the workbench. There's got to be a way to make something out of these, right? Need yards, drazil shoots. Oh, I need to go chop down one of those uh, special trees in there, huh? Okay. Well, we've got the axe to do that now, so we can do that. So I can't do anything with that wisp until I get some of that wood, huh? Well, dang, that makes you go into the mistlands kind of prematurely, doesn't it? That's got me a little concerned. That's so much stuff. I really need to figure out what I'm going to do with all this stuff I have now. I've got so much stuff. Um, let's sleep. Now that we have those, we can just... We'll ha we have them. Oh. Five now. Six. Where did they come in from? Let's see. I'm curious as to how they arrive. Well, now I've picked up the two, so it's going to be a tick. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put these guys in a box then. So if i got to go get back some... Go back and get some of that wood, huh? Okay. We can do that. I've got room in here. I do. I'll throw those guys in there. And I'm going to sleep the night away. Check the workbench for a wisp light. Uh, artisan table. I'll go try them. I'll go try them. Yeah, I got the black metal axe because I knew I was going to need that in order to chop down these new trees that are in the Mistlands. Uh, but let's go take a look at these other workbenches, too. The artisan table is a good one to go look at. I forget about this table right here. Black metal missile and the wooden missile. Those are the only two things that are in there at the moment. The missiles. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're probably going to have to go bust that that wood. Oh, here's the wisp light right here. Piece of silver and a wisp. Let's go get those wisps back. We don't need that wood at all. I think we do for the torch stands, the wisp, the wisp torch stands, but not for the other. Uh, I got some hide on me. You know what? We'll put the hide in the... Uh... Here, let's go do this with this hide. The scrap boar skin. Don't even need it up there. 
And a piece of silver. We've got the silver. It's just a regular old workbench with splite. Ooh, I wonder if you could... Is it upgradable? No. Wish Splite is not upgradable. Oh, that is awesome. How in the heck do you do stuff like that? That is so cool. Where are you? Uh, so it does counteract Ming Yord. We can't have Ming Yord. Ming, Ming Yord on at the same time, huh? One or the other. Okay. Well, that's pretty dang cool. Okay. We got the Wisp Light. We should make a backup one of those. Uh, let's see. So, uh, I'm worried about the chicken eggs. What if we... I think they'll hatch here fine. Once they hatch, they can roam around out here. That's just fine with me. And then we can do a little something, a little different, a little something different to hatch additional eggs. Because once they are hatched, they'll they'll start laying eggs as long as they're breeding with each other. Whoop! Don't hit that egg. So I'm hoping that's going to be all right. Right there. We'll leave that alone. The wisp torches require the shoot. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Uh, we've got a bunch of boar meat on us. I would think the chickens and the boars could be in that area together and do just fine. You know, uh, I, I, I don't know that one animal counteracts another animal's breeding cycle. If it sees there's a bunch of chickens, it'll stop breeding chickens. But if there's a bunch of boars in there... I would think the chickens would still breed, right? And still be able to breed. I think. I hope. That'd be kind of cool. This is so cool. Does it have a, like a... It doesn't have a damage meter or anything on it, huh? This is so cool. Be in the dark no more. Unless, of course, you're me, then you're in the dark all the time, because you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> oh, indeed. Indeed. Alright, wood. Drop that off here. Drop off the stone right there. Well, that is really beautiful. I love that. Oh. Let's drop you guys. The rest of these guys go in there. Now we have it. Oh, that's awesome. So awesome. We got it. I don't need any more coal in there. Those wisp lights will be nice in the base, right? Because, I mean, once you... I wonder if you have to use them for fuel in the wisp light, or if you make the wisp torch, if it's just a torch. You don't have to keep refilling it. If that's the case, those little wisp torches are going to be nice. Because you could just put them down and then walk away from them. You never have to refill it again. If that's going to be the case. I don't know. So cool. I love this game. It's so fun. Hey, Wisp Light. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. Let's go see what it does with the mist lens. We'll go back to the edge of it. Where were we at when we did that? We put up a mist lens portal, didn't we? I don't necessarily want to go into it, but I do want to go see... Well, I want to see it push it away. We were up here. No, that's the frost cave. That's not where we were. We were over here.
Mistlands portal. Do we actually put a Mistlands portal up? Okay, let's see. The Waskly Wabbit. Bone Mass. Modder. Mistlands. Oh, you don't have the right... I don't have... Hold on, hold on. Before I commit, I'm going back through. I don't have the right um, power on. Ichthyr is not what I want right now. We need to be really careful. I don't want to die there. I do not want to die there. Okay. I want to... We need... Oh. Hold on, wait. Sorry, guys. I think what I want to do is grab the uh, power for... Um, Yaglith. The Yaglith power. Because of all the fire and stuff that's involved with... You know. These guys. Go to the shrine. Here we go. It's going to be tough to decide which power to take because I know this the the seekers cause quite a bit of damage uh, with their um, pincers that they have. But I'm going to go ahead and use the. Um, this is going to be great to have outside though when we're working like digging up copper or something. It'll be really handy. I'm going to go ahead and grab this one. Oh boy, this is gonna be uh, this could be something here. I'm nervous about this one already. Uh, Mistlands, I think I put it over here, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna let that health get up a little bit there too, because I just ate and I kind of let my food drain down. Hopefully, when we get back, we've got a couple of baby chickens roaming around. Doesn't open up very much, does it? I hear something big. Sucker. I saw that rabbit take off. I hear something stomping very large feet. Oh. 
Oh god, that's big. Oh. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. Get out of here, you lousy bug. Oh. Holy moly. I think that's the biggest of the <laughs> the biggest of the guys, isn't it? The soldier. Oh my god, I've seen pictures of him. A carapace and a, and some seeker meat, a mandible. Ooh, a seeker soldier trophy. Ooh, that's cool. Oh my god, I'm terrified. This is worse than Yaglith. Nice to see that they don't like feelings as much as I do. Oh, better food is definitely going to be a must. More health when you come in here. Get some of that wood too. Oh my god, I'm so nervous right now. Oh, what's... Oh, jeez, all kinds of good stuff just showed up there. I hear that big balloon dude. Oh, we grabbed a little bit of everything there. Oh god, rabbit, you oh you scared crap out of me, bunny. Right, come on in here, Buster Brown. This place is terrifying. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't unequip that. Don't unequip, don't unequip the wisp, you fool. Oh, I wanted one of those bunnies. I don't know that I can get to my stuff, even if I did get to my old stuff. God, that sounds terrifying. What is that? Uh, thank God I've got that butcher knife on me. I'm gonna drop the 27 wood and grab the deer. The, 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 the what, no, what do you mean no room on inventory? Get rid of that rock. Get that rabbit. Go. Get out of here. That's enough of that. We got a bunny. Ah, rabbit. Squirrel, rabbit, squirrel, rabbit. Oh my 
God. I think nighttime's coming. Oh my God, that guy makes a lot of noise over there, whoever he is. Oh, I think it's one of those big old bloat sacks. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, that's enough of that. We picked up some good stuff. We opened up a bunch of new things. Ooh, money. I'll drop that and drop that. I'm gonna grab that money. We're a little short on money now. Oh, I picked up another carapace too. I gotta think that's gonna be for armor and all that kind of good stuff. Yeah, I gotta think those are gonna be for armor. Oh, we got a new trophy though. Let's go hang up our new trophy. Oh, I got black metal in me. Ooh. I should stream horror games. I don't know if I can handle it. I remember I tried to play Resident Evil. God. Like the first or second one where they only gave you a couple of bullets and you had to like shoulder your way into zombies and push them out of the way. I was just terrified of that. Watch the Seven Days to Die series. You'll see me scared plenty in there. We got a new trophy. Oh my god, that is so cool. Okay, so let's go in the kitchen and drop off this meat. I bet if I cook this rabbit meat, I'll get a little something for that. No, oh, no. Oh, sure, why not? We'll cook both those things. Okay, we're going to cook the rabbit meat. Um, I don't need my butcher knife anymore. I love the sound effects that go along with that, that wisp. It's really cool. Put my, my belt back on. My pants were falling down a little bit. This should open up some new things, I think, too. Cooked hair meat. That's all it did. 60 health and 20 stamina. Wow. Okay, that's not too shabby. This is only 55 health. 33. Wow, for a dead rabbit, huh? Sweet. I'm gonna eat me a rabbit. What does this guy do? Yo, oh, yeah, I had some. Yeah, I've got some rabbit pelts and stuff too. I just died with them in my inventory. Cook seeker meat. That gives you 60 health and 20 stamina as well. Oh wow. Okay, so that's a couple of good foods right there. Not too shabby. Uh, you know, actually, um, cook foods. Cook foods are now going over here in this box right here. So we got a hair. We got some bug guts, and there's a dead fish. Okay, so I've got those guys there. This stuff here, what is this called? Yags... Dr Drazzlewood? I'm just going to say Drazzlewood. Drazzlewood? Drazzlewood? You guys can let me know if I'm saying that right, because I do like to pronounce that stuff properly. Ha <laughs> ha! Check you out. That is so cool. Okay, so what did I open up? Oh, I bet it's in my hammer, huh? See, that stuff comes up, but it goes so fast, I can't see what it says. I don't see anything new in here. Eggdrasil, Eggdrasil. The Wisp Torch. Furniture, maybe? Oh, here it is. Wisp torch. Ooh, one wisp. Let's try that out. We might go a little... Well, we've got, we've got plenty of time. we got 20 minutes together still, guys. Let's try that out. Woo! Woo! Oh, where'd I put him? And then you put this on, too, and you can probably see really, really well in the dark. New item in the forge. Okay. Oh, very exciting stuff. Very exciting stuff. 
Love it. Missing it. I don't see anything in here. There's a stack of wood in here. Oh, there it is right here. Yeah, okay, I see that. That's one thing I don't use much of is these these stacks of wood anymore. We did this uh, in the first season. We used those in our um, workplace, but I haven't done much of it since then. Um, okay, I feel like an idiot. What did I do with all those wisps I had? Did I put them inside here in the chest inside? Yeah, like I said, this entire work area here, this workshop, needs to be redone. We need to get busy on this and get it, get it different, it, make it different. Uh, furniture. A wisp torch. That is pretty dang cool looking. So if I put a wisp torch in here... Oh, that puts off a nice little glow, doesn't it? You can't put it on the workbench. Okay, you can't put it on the chest. But I could put it right there. Um, I could put it right back in here, too. You could put it on the windowsill there, like that. That's interesting. It's a very light glow. gives off some magical properties. Now if I break it, do I get everything back? Of course I do, because they do a game right, these guys. They give you everything back. So if I put my wisp light right here... Oh, that is gorgeous. Look at that blue coming off of that. It's like you've got kind of, a, kind of a frosty, steamy look to it, doesn't it? That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. And wisp lights in the armor display? Dang straight, man. You got that right. Uh, oh, we got a whole bunch of them. Let's do that. Let's put some in there and see how that lights things up a little bit. We got the brazier, but that's so smoky, you know? Oh, sorry about that. There we go. Alright, let's try... Let's try this in here. I could put one of these at, at each of these at the base of each of these and it would look really good I think it would actually add to the armor and make it look nice oh my god that's it right because if you look at these first two here with the with the smoke and stuff even those lanterns might work better in here too as opposed to the wisp lights but these lanterns here look at that see the that puts off a bunch of smoke and stuff where this just lights it up really good yeah that looks pretty sweet and they're nice enough to have out in the open where you don't mind looking at them they're not ugly you know no smoke Thank you, Iron Gate. Nice work on that wisp light. I like that one a lot. And now, is do I have to refill it with anything? No, it just glows. Oh my god. A light source that you don't have to worry about refilling constantly. Holy cow. I like that a lot. Yeah, that looks really, really good. I'm pretty happy with that, for sure. It even takes the, the silvery metal 
on the uh, armor and gives it kind of a blue hue to it. It's kind of a blue glow to the silver, which I like. We have two of these guys now, so we just need three more. Well, a total of four more. One so we can always have one on display, and then three more so uh, we can actually go out and fight Yagleth again and get his head put on the wall in here somewhere. Yeah, I like those a lot. I've still got two more of those, huh? Oh, sweet mama, that is awesome. Okay, and then I've got, um, what, is, what is this for? Mandible, the hand of... The hand of man could hardly design a more perfect weapon. Oh, okay. Let's gonna have to go over by the weapon box then. A plate of chitinous armor. Sweet. And then we've got this head too. Uh, let's go get a nail and a and some fine wood and get this trophy put up. I'm gonna grab a little bit of regular wood. I need to actually put another box down because I'm running out of room for everything here. Ignore my my messy uh, my messy place, but this is going to have to be our box for this stuff right here at the moment. And then I had some fine wood. Yeah, I do. I have fine wood right in here. And some nails right. Just give me all of them. There we go. We'll put this someplace where it's light enough to see it too, hopefully. Uh, trophy on the wall. Put this down here on this end. Pretty cool that the first soldier I killed gave me a trophy. Holy crap, look at that thing. Oh, that is sweet. That is awesome looking. Little furry little hairs. Sensory hairs. Damn, that's a big trophy, huh? It's like comparable to uh, Modder over here. Oh, I like that a lot. That is really pretty. Oh, the chickens, right. The chickens, jeez. What a day, huh? Uh, let me move Princess really quick. She's a little backed up here. There you go, Princess. What the heck? Where's my chickens? Oh, what happened? Oh man, what happened to the chickens? Oh, did they get killed? Are you kidding me? There was a feather right there. That's not a good thing. I don't see any chickens up here. Oh, man. I think they died. I think they freaking died. Hey, you pigs see my chickens?
I think they died. I think they they grew up and died. Either that, they hatched and popped into the fence, or something happened. Glitched into the wall, maybe. But I've only got one feather, two feathers, so I'm guessing that's two chickens, right? Son of a gun, man. How much were those eggs? 1,500? Jeez, man, that like took all my money. took all of my money. We've got a little bit left, but not a lot. Well, I'm going to make sure before I even get chickens again that I have a place to actually do do the chickens so they don't die like that. That's just that's that sucks right there. Uh, that's the gold. I meant to put the, those in there. Let's go see how much we actually have in terms of gold. I don't have 50. I think if I had one egg, if I get a chicken hatched, it'll lay eggs and I can hatch those eggs and then pretty soon we could breed them. But I don't know how much money I have. Yeah, seven. Yeah, I don't. I don't have enough. Oh, man, that sucks. Failure. Yeah, I think I, I've used up all the gold. Yeah, it's all gone. We've used all of it. Well, hmm, bummer. I guess it's a matter of going in the forest and hunting down some troll caves and killing trolls and taking their gold. I mean, trolls drop a lot of gold. They're not hard to kill anymore. We got eight minutes left. That sucks, man. I lost my chickens. That's like 3,000 gold right there I lost. I don't even know how much gold a troll actually has with them anymore. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you back there. Let's see if we can find a, a troll house. Oh, blueberries. I'll take these. Oh, mushrooms, too. I've noticed that I'm making foods with these red mushrooms again. Come here, stupid. I'm not the one that killed two chickens. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. Where else is a good place to get gold? How much amber do I have left? I sold all of the amber. Well, I may have a little bit left upstairs. I don't think we took all of it, but it's not a whole lot left. Maybe a couple stacks. I probably have enough to get a egg, maybe. It'd be interesting is a troll cave. I bet there is that wisp light would come pretty handy in a troll cave. Let's just find a troll real quick. A troll cave would be nice. Do I have any marked on the map? Uh, not really. No, we don't have anything map marked on the map when it comes to troll caves. It's funny, when you want to find one, you can never find one. But when you don't want one, they're everywhere. Gray dwarfs running around down there. What's this over here? Uh, that's not a troll cave. This this is skeletons, right? I believe this is skeletons. Oh. 
That's skeletons. There's a castle. Oh, trolls, where are you? Curious how much gold you drop. And then once you hatch a chicken, how do you move it around? You just push it? I guess you can push it? I wonder if they're going to let you pick them up eventually. Be nice if you could pick them up, huh? Just hold it like you'd hold a chicken and then, you know, take it to where it needs to go. I feel awful. The first two chickens I try to grow, I suffocated in the wall probably. That kind of sucks. I can't find a troll to save my life. What's this over here? It's all blue. Yeah. There are no trolls in this black forest. It's just a castle. That's just weird. Oh, this looks like a troll cave right over here. Possibly. There we go. I want to try this wisp light out in here and see what it's like. Okay, these are still out here. So this means maybe there's somebody in here. Last few I've gone into, there's been nobody inside these places. <laughs> there's no one in this one either. Dear God, I tell you, I can't, I can't win for this. I can't win for losing in this regard. Last three troll craze I've gone in, there's none. Well, here's some, here's some rubies. A ruby, but no troll. yellow mushrooms and that's about it well crap well that's a bummer at least we can grab the other stuff while we're out here Skeleton. Okay, so I need to come up with a... So you're saying a, a brazier would be a better way to hatch the eggs. A hanging brazier. If I get that up off the floor just a little bit and then put the chicken egg underneath it, it should hatch and then when the chicken hatches, at least it's not going to walk into the fire. Oh, there's there. Speak of the devil. There he is. Perfect. Perfect. I was looking. I've been looking for you, sir. I want to see how much gold you have in your. I don't know. What you don't have pockets, do you? Now, what have you got in your pocket? I'm assuming this is your pocket. There we go. Twenty-five gold. That's it. That's all you got. Twenty-five gold in your pocket. Oh. 25 gold? That ain't gonna get me anywhere too fast, huh? Well, so be it. Oh, there's another one right there. Excuse me, you. Punkaloni. Oh, right in the buttocks. I'll come to you. You missed.
Uh, I got us to 55 gold there. Huh. They seem to be out more at night, huh? Well, uh, the feelings carry a lot of gold as well. The feelings are always pretty good for gold. You know? The prison pocket. Gross. <laughs> You gotta hide it in the butt. Oh, let's grab these here too. There's an old campfire sitting here. We're almost back home, you guys. The Wisp Light is a big win in my eyes. As long as we have a little bit of that wood, we're good to go. The Wisp Light itself is easy to come by. Yeah, they're busy fighting with each other up here. That's good. They can just keep on fighting. This light is great. Very handy. Then you don't have to wear it on your head, you know, as a helmet. Your mountain chest, you have some silver necklaces, and you can sell those for 30 each. The silver necklaces, I think we need it to make uh, certain things, though, right? I don't want to sell those off. I'd rather go through the work of... Uh, going out and maybe doing a few fueling villages and getting the gold out of the fueling villages and stuff like that as opposed to um, you know doing the other uh, selling my necklaces off I've kept those because I know we want to make the treasure chest we need those necklaces for that so I've kept as many as I've got and the gold will come along it's fine one more thing one more thing let's go check and see just how much uh, we had um, some resin left over. I don't think we took all of it over to Halder when we went and visited him. Yeah, we've got a few stacks of that left. Oh, we've got... Oh, okay. we got some more over here, too. Okay, there and there. I'm going to go ahead and get something for the chickens. Uh, you know what? What about turning this into a chicken area? It's covered. It's upstairs. We could put chickens up here. That wouldn't be too bad to get it kind of started. And we'd take a brazier and we'd have to hang a brazier up here. Um, I don't know if we put something on the wall coming out. If we did something like this right here. Right? We could we could hang a brazier off of that down to the floor and put the chicken eggs down here and they would they would work, right? This area up here? Is it a great area for a chicken coop? No. But that's why I'm talking about expanding the island a little bit too. So we've got a little more space. Let me run one more thing by you guys. So th that's a possibility up there for chickens. What I'm thinking about doing is expanding the island out this way. Now when it storms, the water goes up above this rock. The water is... The, the ground's going to have to be at least this high. And I was ex thinking about extending this right over to there. And having the land come out to the edge of this rock. And give us this much more space here. And then we can add a little bit of land over to here as well. Through here. So we would have this much more space between here and the island to do some more building on. You could hang it just from the roof and that would be enough to keep those eggs warm. Because I had them right next to that campfire. Pretty darn close. And the campfire wasn't even keeping them warm. So the brazier is that much warmer, huh? Okay. 
All right, well, we'll try that next episode, okay? Next episode, I'll get another egg. I think if we do one egg, right? If we hatch a egg, that chicken should hatch, grow up, and lay eggs. We can take those eggs and incubate those eggs and use those eggs to do it. So I only need to buy... I'm going to buy one more from Halder with the uh, the money we have. We'll, we'll get some. Uh, we'll get that money together. I think I can do that, though. If I bring the ground up to this height right here, it should be good along here and give us a little more space. And then we can still get the ship in uh, to dock over here at the forge area. Wow, look at the size of that pike. Dang, there's fish all over the place. i got to imagine they're going to fix that, right, so the fish aren't floating in the air. I hope so. So sorry about the chickens, that didn't work out, but everything else went pretty smooth today. We killed Yaglith, uh, we went to the Mistlands a little bit and picked up some cool stuff, especially, I mean, the first soldier I fought, <laughs> I put his head on my wall, I like that. These lights are amazing. The answer to our problem with lighting up our armor display area, for sure, that is the answer to it right there. They're just fantastic. I love that. Love that to death. That's fantastic. Went up in the forest. Look what we got here in just a short little bit of time. Okay. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, uh, right now, I'm going to have three series on the channel. At the moment, we're doing Valheim because Mislins came out, and I'm way back into it again. So we've got this. The 7 Days to Die 49 Day Run series is going to be going on. And then we've got Stranded Alien Dawn in the desert. So I hope you enjoyed those three series. They're not only on my Twitch, but they're on my YouTube channel as well. I want you guys to have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time. Look at that light. That's so cool. I'm going to move around with me. It's amazing. <laughs>